Welcome back to Adnac Accent Coaching. My name is Allison. Her Majesty the Queen has passed away, and now we have a new king and new heir apparent. So, heir apparent. It sounds like you're just airing out your mom or dad. Heir apparent. Um, that is the presumed next heir. The heir apparent is the next in line for the throne. So, King Charles was the heir apparent, and now he's the heir to the throne, making him the king. And now his son William is the heir apparent. So heir is one of these words that we have from French, like honor, honest, and hour, where we don't actually say the H. Instead of the H, we're going to lead into it with something close to where the H is made, using a glottal stop here in our glottis. So this is when you, you find this by going, uh-oh. Oh, that pinch, that is pinching your glottis closed, creating a seal between your lungs and the outside air. So in order to not pronounce it as hair, we're gonna use this as like an invisible consonant starting place. Air, air. I'm not just letting it come in like this, air, air. And I'm not saying the H, I'm not saying hair. I'm Leading in with that glottal stop as if it's a consonant, air, air. Um, if you're a French speaker and you have issues with switching the H's at the beginnings of words, you're going to want to practice H and glottal stop together, like hair, air, hair, air so that you don't confuse them. Uh, the classic joke about this is saying, I hurt my hankle. So we're taking the H off of hurt and putting a glottal stop, and then we're slapping the H in front of ankle instead of using a glottal stop. So correctly, that phrase would be, I hurt my ankle glottal stop. So practice your glottal stops so that you can say these words starting with H without using the H sound. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time. Long live the king.